All right, this is a quick video on React Router 7. I'm doing it because I React Router 7 took a lot of the best parts of Remix and combined it with the best parts of React Router. So here's how I got started. So let's hop over to the docs framework. The approach that I took was you can create your basic product project like this, change the directory, install everything, do npm run dev, and you're good to go. Okay, once you're done, you get a project that looks something. Okay, we quickly look at the project structure. I mean, I, I added a couple of routes, my apologies. But the important parts where you're going to be doing the bulk of your work will be in this routes TSX, not the, uh, sorry, in this routes TS file, which is where you'll structure your routes. So I'll go over that in a minute. And then this is actually where you place the files that map back to the routes that you link to here. And so what I've done here is in my routes, I said my index route will be this home TSX. You can see it's just a regular React page. We have some metadata up at the top, but it's just a regular page and I'm just showing the current route. And then the same thing with the about page, just a regular page, just showing the current path. And if we look back at the routes page, your index, you structure like this, you just give it the file path. For a specific route, you give it the route or the path, so slash home, and then the file, and I'll explain these IDs later, and then for the about, just the path, and then the file. Now the purpose of the ID is that I want both my slash index route to take me to the home page, and I also want slash home to take me to the home page. We cannot have duplicate IDs, and so what we do here is we create a unique ID for this home route, to be home route so that it doesn't conflict with this index route. If you remove this ID, this will fail. So let's quickly take a look at what happens. If we're down here at the bottom, you can see when I just use my index route, I come to my home page and you can see my current path is just slash. If I add slash home, I end up at the same page, but my current path is slash home. And then if I put about, I end up on my about page. So that was just a quick starter. Thanks, hope you enjoyed it. I'm just gonna do short videos about getting started with React Router 7. Thanks, bye.